Good morning, my friends. Today is Sunday, October 23rd. It's the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. It's also day 44 of Be Formed. And just again, a reminder, uh, on Monday night, the 24th, we have a large group for Be Formed. But anybody's welcome, 6.30 here at St. Isaac Jokes. It'll also be live streamed on our parish website. If you look under media and live stream, uh, so 6.30 to 7.30 Adoration with a witness talk on the Eucharist and I'll also be sharing the life, virtues, and charisms of St. Isaac Jokes and uh, then 7.30 to 8.30 we'll have some snacks so if you want to bring something to share that would be great. The readings this Sunday talk to us about humility and should give us hope that in our lowliness, in our struggles, in our desperation maybe, God hears our cry. So the first reading from the book of Sirach, it says, God shows no favorites. Um, he listens to the weak, the oppressed, the orphan, the widow. Um, the one who serves God, God's will is heard. So when we're trying to do God's will, he hears our prayer. Uh, the prayer of the lowly pierces the clouds. I love that. So in our humility, when we pray, it says our prayers pierce the clouds. Uh, and goes directly to the heart of God. Our psalm, the refrain is, the Lord hears the cry of the poor, uh, Psalm 34. And then uh, St. Paul to Timothy, he writes, you know, um, I'm being poured out like a libation. So Paul, who might be considered the greatest evangelist of all time, realized that life was not about him and that his mission was to pour out his life for God. He said, I'm being poured out like a libation um, I'm, I'm giving everything I have uh, to God. I, the point of my departure is at hand, so he knows that he's not long for this world. I've competed well, I've finished the race, I've kept the faith. And he says, the crown of righteousness awaits me. He knows that he's not earning this crown of righteousness, but that in all humility, he's seeking to do the will of God and that uh, he will be with the Lord one day. And then he says, uh, he was rescued from the lion's mouth so God heard his prayer his crying out and the Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom so we know that Paul died as we all are going to die but our home is with God in heaven and God hears the cry of the poor so if you're feeling down if you're feeling low if you're feeling forgotten cry out to God trust that your prayers are piercing the clouds if you will to God and then we have this almost funny gospel. Um, funny in the sense of the dichotomy is so stark. So we said, um, and he's addressing this parable, Jesus says, to those convinced of their own righteousness. So you can imagine a group of proud uh, religious uh, leaders and the Lord kind of goes right to their heart. So he says, two people went to the temple area to pray, the Pharisee, and the tax collector. So the Pharisee, this religious leader, took up his position, so this position of pride, uh, and he spoke this prayer to himself. So when was the last time you prayed to yourself? We pray to God, right? And so when we think that we're God or in control, this is what happens. Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like the rest of humanity, greedy, honest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector back here. I fast twice a week. So he's just bragging, he's not praying. I pay tithes, uh, but what did the tax collector do? He stood off at a distance, couldn't even raise his eyes to, to heaven in, in humility. And he said, oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. What a simple prayer, but a prayer of faith. And Jesus says, I tell you, the latter, the tax collector went home justified, not the former. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. So humility, I believe, I call it the gateway virtue. You know, like they say marijuana is a gateway drug that leads to other drugs. Humility is a gateway virtue that leads to other, other virtues. We, of course, we know love is the greatest virtue, but we need humility even to love. So it, it, it's a, a gateway. Pride is the gateway uh, sin. So we know that pride leads to other sins. So how do we grow in humility? I believe one is come to know our identity as beloved sons and daughters of God. The second thing is to know our gifts and weaknesses, to, to, to know that our gifts, finally, all good gifts come from God, 
And if we have weaknesses, which we all do, to surrender them to God. St. Paul says, it's in my weakness that I'm made strong. And so it's by coming to know who we are, to, to recognize every good gift comes from God, and to come before the Lord humbly and say, Lord, I'm your son, I'm your daughter. Uh, I surrender all to you. All that I have is yours. Help me to run the race, to keep the faith like St. Paul. Help me to seek your will above all else and help my simple, humble prayer pierce the clouds. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for all the gifts that you give us. Help us in humility to recognize that every good gift comes from you and help us to surrender those gifts uh, to your will, to your glory. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. And to you and to your families, Buen Camino. God bless you.